What is going on everyone, this is Rossi and this is a little commentary a bit different now, my um, last video before I go away and um, the last scheduled video, um, obviously scammer videos out tomorrow so look forward to that. In the background what you can see, in, well what you can see is a little problem with YouTube right now. Uh, videos aren't in sub boxes and this is the reason why, so as you guys can see I've got the tick box as in for the subscribers only and the problem is with that is that the view button next to it if you see the view and the little arrow down it's about to change right about now you click that and you have to select everything it cannot be in highlights because as you guys can see the makecraft video is there and before it wasn't so i would have missed that video for example because of this situation with youtube um i'm not sure why they have it i mean youtube shouldn't have it anymore in my opinion you know um i think they're doing it so they don't spam people's timelines like if you subscribe to machinima um obviously that there are loads of videos a day now, the subscriber's choice is to be subscribed to that YouTube channel. If they want to unsubscribe because the sub box is getting spammed, let them un unsubscribe, you know. Don't have to make the decision for them to sort out their sub box. That's my opinion on it. Leave yours in the comment section below. I want to know what you think of it. Do you feel the same? Are you annoyed that you have to select this um, everything button every time? Um, you know, what are your thoughts on it? And if you know anyone that's had this problem, I um, mean, they say, oh, I've missed... Um, I don't know, Quain the Somalian's video or something like that. Um, you know, how can I make sure that the videos will be in my sub box? And that's the way to do it. And unfortunately, it does it every time. You have to reselect it every single time, which is really annoying. Um, I really disagree with having to be done like that. If you select it, um, it should be selected for good, in my opinion. So maybe YouTube can just do that. If they want to keep the system they got, that's the way they should do about it, maybe, in my opinion. Um, just make it so they don't have to reselect it every time. Um, obviously, because that is the one really big annoying thing about it, and hopefully it can get changed very shortly. But I was wanting to talk about another thing today, is Pez. Now, will it be on the same level as he forever in the future? Do you guys think? I know, what are your thoughts on that? There's an article in the description you guys probably should check out. Um, I'll maybe have a little read if you want to, and see what you think of it. And it talks about the licensing. Obviously, Pez don't have all the right team names and stuff. And the guy, the team leader of Pez, doesn't talk about, you know, Pez being lazy. He doesn't talk about, you know... Pez not having the right funds to buy the licensing or whatever. Um, he talks about actually EA copying Konami, which is quite interesting, so worth checking it out. And um, obviously he talks about the licensing, uh, which is you know a really big you know factor of Pez for me. Uh, I, I haven't downloaded the game, you know, the demo 2013 uh, demo right yet because I'm just you know getting organised holiday and stuff like that. But when I come back, I certainly will. I'll check it out. Um, I did last year with a demo, you know, I did enjoy the gameplay of it, actually it was something quite different. Like I say, the licensing and stuff on PES is the problem for me, and that would always be their downfall to, you know, EA. You know, their FIFA brand that they've got makes, you know, exclusive, if you want to call it. You know, they have all these links and contacts and stuff at clubs, and that's that's one thing in my opinion. So, guys, put it in the comments what you think of it, you know. If um, Konami get the licensing rights, do you think it could be on the same level one day? Um, what do you think of that, you know? Put it in the description. Put it in the comments a bit below. I want to know what you think. So, guys, do that thing with the YouTube. If you know someone that's having this problem, show them this video. Um, if you want to help me out, get this message out there to a lot more people who don't understand. Leave a like on this video. Uh, I'd appreciate that a lot. Obviously, that gets the message out there a lot more. And it means my videos won't be missed. Um, you know, Queen the Somalian, whoever I was on about. But videos won't be missed. And everyone's just generally happy. The subs are happy that they haven't missed the video. And, you know, the, the video maker obviously spends a lot of time making these videos. And... You know, for YouTube not putting them, put them in your sub box, you know that's a that's a big, big downfall in my opinion. So I want to know, I want to know if everyone's, um, if oh certainly if you didn't know this, put it in the comments and say you know Rossi help me out. You know that I'd appreciate that as well. Just shows that I've done a little bit of nice business or whatever you want to call it. So guys, have a nice week. I'll have a nice week uh, in France, um, by the pool and the beach and shit. Videos scheduled uploading. Um, scammer video tomorrow. This is going to be a very good one. What I'm going to say is, I'm going to warn you right now. The guy actually admits his dad's gay, so I have to crop out his name for you know policy, not policy reasons, but security reasons. Um, you know, I don't want him to get bullied and stuff. Gomps in it with me as well. Um, Gomps whacks out the jokes and stuff. Um, he's he's funny. He's a funny guy. So guys, come to this video if you've enjoyed it. Please leave a like, help me out, and uh, I'll catch you on the other side. Peace.